Hey guys, this is Jessica from Peterson SEO. Thank you so much for speaking with me yesterday and requesting this free video. So today I'm just going to go over a few tips that you can, get, can start applying right away that's going to help you online and help you capture more of those organic leads. Because nearly 70% of your organic leads come from your website, it is really critical that your website be properly optimized so you can capture those leads. Now you guys have a great looking website. You clearly have used a marketing company and have SEO going or at least did at some point. Um, so there's not a whole lot that I actually need to show you, but we will go over a few things. So um, you have separate pages for each of your major services. That's awesome. you got a great amount of content on these pages. Uh, but you need to make sure that you're focusing on exact match local keywords. That's going to be really important. You have to have two to three repetitions to be picked up for some of those keywords. Um, and so you definitely want to make sure you're capturing the best keywords. And don't use the same keywords on multiple pages. And make sure all pages have their own original content. Otherwise, Google will penalize you. Um, Looking at your home page here. Okay, so we have some interlinking that's good for your SEO. Looks like you have a lot of H1 headers and you should only have one per page. That will affect your SEO. Um, you have a little bit of content here, but what Google really likes on the home page is about 1,500 words of content built around those local buyer intent keywords, the keywords people are actively searching on Google for each of your services. So this home page really should be like a mini summary of each of your services um, focused on those keywords, exact match keywords with the right duplication two to three times so that they are getting picked up. Um, other than that, this homepage looks pretty good. You want to make sure that you always have more content than your competitors. And that goes for your homepage and all your other pages. Um, you need 250 words for every keyword you're going to target. And pardon me, I'm going to scroll a little bit fast to get to the top. Sorry about that. Um, and service areas. So these are very, very important. I'm glad you have them. Um, this is what helps you to be found organically in each of these areas. Um, for the most part, these are pretty good pages, but they are missing the exact match keywords. So again, all have to have original content. You don't want duplication. These pages should be like mini home pages, summaries of each service, and focused on those keywords. Exact match local keywords specific to that city and that service. And keep in mind that there's usually a variety of similar keywords, and you want to capitalize on that because not everybody Googles the same way. So if all your keywords are in the same format, you are realistically missing out on a ton of potential visitors to your site. Um, and because your service area pages are not using the exact match and are not, don't have the duplication of your keywords, you have several service area pages that aren't even being indexed as far as keywords go. Um, and so you definitely want to make sure that you can be found organically in each of those service areas. If we look at your top competitor in Boise, we have um, standard restoration. They also have a nice looking site with a click to call. Um, they have their separate service areas, separate service pages. Um, See, they have a little bit of content here. 
And this is more in the format that Google likes. They like to read it more like a paper than just um, statements or bullet points. Bullets are great um, to just point out a few things, but it, this really should read more like um, a paper. So you're going to need to have more content than they have and make sure you're focusing on those local buyer intent keywords. And then, of course, support your website with SEO because you won't be found without it. And if we look here, you guys are doing a great job. You guys got a 23 out of 100 in Google's trust flow. So that's pretty good. That is 100% based on your backlinks and referring domains. And yes, you do need a lot of these, but not all are created equal. So you want to make sure you're only going after the high authority domains that are directly related to your industry and that are do follows because they share the power of the high ranking sites. They help give you more authority and they help you in your ranking. Google only gives you credit for one backlink per referring domain. So anything else Google looks at as spam. Now, if we look here, you have 83 do follows. So you actually only have 83 relevant backlinks doing anything to help your website. You have been indexed for over 1400 keywords and you are getting over 800 people on average to your website per month. So that's awesome. Um, however, most of this traffic is actually coming on a national level, which doesn't help you. So if we look at your keywords, you are ranking pretty well in a couple of your locations. But where most of your traffic is coming in is more related to either your brand, which is a national keyword, or your blog articles. Uh, blog articles and pages that are going after these national terms. So um, national keywords are great only if you are servicing the entire United States. If not, when you rank these on the first page, the only thing that's going to happen is you're going to get people on your site. They're going to read your article and they're going to leave. They're not going to convert. And the whole purpose of your website is to attract the customers so you can convert them. Um, and so you want to make sure that you're blogging correctly. Blogs can be extremely important. They add authority. They can do a whole lot for you, but these blogs are not being done correctly. So, what you want in your blog is to write articles based around your local keywords that you want to rank for. And then you uh, bold that keyword and you create a hyperlink to the page that you actually want to rank. Then you go out and you get your backlinks to the blog article. And in doing so, it will help you rank the keyword on the page you actually want to rank. But when you do it this way and you're just trying to um, rank blog articles for high volume national keywords, they're not going to help you. They're just going to bring false traffic. It's going to look like your website is performing better than it is. And um, so you really want to focus on local so you can convert them into customers. Now, if we look at your top competitor, they only have a rating of 10 with over 200 backlinks and 114 referring domains. Of those, only 77 are do follow. So you do need to beat their 77 do follow referring domains in quantity as well as quality. They've only been indexed for 400 keywords, yet they're getting over 883 people to their website per month. And that is because of those local keywords. So um, you just want to focus more on those local keywords and your content strategy, and then make sure that you're supporting it with your referring domains. And then the last part of this is your Google My Business page or Google Maps section here. So your goal should be to be in the top three, which you are for this um, specific search, but you want to be in the top three for your keywords and service areas because 30% of people search here and don't search anywhere else. And so if you're not listed here in the top three, then you send those leads to your competition. Now there are several factors that go in to ranking in the top three, but the most important are your citations 
and that's the name of your business, your address, phone number, and website, and listing those in a bunch of directories like Yelp, Yellow Pages, and Glassdoor. And you do need more of those than your competition. Now, if you follow all of these tips I've provided you today, your website has the opportunity, opportunity to be number one in your service area for all of your services. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you found it helpful and I would really love to get your feedback. If you have any questions at all, go ahead and give me a call at the number on the screen and we can chat. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to hearing from you soon.